this video, I'm going to show you some basic applications of matrices and vectors in SMath Studio utilizing this document in which I have predefined some um, matrices, 2 by 2 matrices. To, in order to type a matrix, you have to um, use this button, the matrix, or Control M. Control M, then I will provide you with a table indicating how many rows and how many columns. If you have a 3x3, three three, for example, I will insert something like this, and you then start populating the elements one by one. I'm going to use those two simple 2x2 uh, two two matrices that I have defined there, A and B, to show you some examples of calculation with them. Of course, to do summations and subtractions of uh, matrices, you have to have matrices of the same dimension, the same number of rows and columns. For example, if we use the, use, uh, the equal sign in here, I obtain A plus B into matrix C, indicated by this result. The difference will be this particular result. Products, um, A times B is not necessarily equal to B times A. Let's look in this case. A times B is a uh, 2 by 2, and if B times A, it's a... Uh, I'm going to click here to the right of the A, equal sign, different results. There is a, a bunch of, of, of functions here the, in the matrix, in the matrices um, block here that will let you calculate, for example, the transpose is this particular function. And, and so in order to produce this transpose, the A transpose, I'm going to repeat it right here. You just tap A and click on this button and then press the equal sign, and then it does the transpose, which basically means converting rows into columns and columns into rows for this particular I mean, uh, variable or matrix, actually. The inverse matrix is as simple as typing A raised to the negative 1, and that will give me the result indicated in there. If I wanted to get, a uh, say, a uh, symbolic result, I do A to the negative 1 and do control dot, and it will show you show the result as a um, series of fractions in the elements of that matrix. Vectors are collections of numbers that are in, in rows or in columns. I'm just going to use columns here representing three-dimensional vectors, and I define them my vectors U and V to define a particular vector, say W equal control M for matrices, and then you type uh, three rows and change this to one column to produce this format, and then you can start typing in the values. I have defined this particular set here, and then I eliminate this one. And then I use it to produce a summation of vectors. I'm going to drag this down this way, and the subtraction of vectors. There is um, a, the, the cross product of vectors, for example, this one, is obtained using this function in the pad uh, or control eight is the cross product and then if you just type if you, i'm going to redo this one so if i click in here and click on this particular location and then i put u times v type the the two vectors in the placeholders and click to the right and do the equal sign And, and then it gives you the cross product. Let's repeat that here, clicking on this button, but type in V cross U. The dot product, you could calculate it by using, for example, U times the transpose of V. I'm going to click here and transpose V. But actually, and that gives me the wrong result. That I could try U transpose to the right times V, and that gives me a dot product. So you can use it for a lot of applications in engineering in, in the calculation of matrices and vectors. This is just a quick introductory presentation to show you the abilities of the software. And so we'll stop at this point and show you um, calculus applications in the next video.